Calling this meeting to order. Would you like me to do the roll call? Please. Gary Smart. I'm here. Peter Davidson. I am here. Don Graham. Here. Andrew Munsey. Here. Wayne Davis. Here. And Julie Erdman, our town planner, is sitting to my left. All present. <clears throat> What's next? We are elected. Now we're going to There we go. That's the chair and the vice chair. Yeah. Let's get the roll call. Let's do uh, elect the chair and vice chair. Looking mm -hmm. for nominations. Oh. I know we're Gary to be chair. Mm -hmm. I second that. Get back in the in the the shift to come here. Do you not want to do it? No, I don't mind doing it. I just have to bear with me because I'm. With this uh, COVID thing, I've kind of fallen behind with the <laughs> procedure, you know. Yeah. Any other nominations? Peter would be a good <laughs> chairman. No, no, that's fine. You might better talk in than I am. Uh, yeah, that does, that's showing bode well for anybody in the room, by the way. I don't know. Seemed pretty popular to me. <laughs> if you want to. Have a vote. Let's have a vote. Um, All in favor say, of said person? Gary. Gary. Smart as chairman. So I'm the chairman again for another year, huh? Yes. Okay. Is it a year? Vice chair? It's a year. We did do vice chair. You yeah. want to be vice chair? Sure. I know Mayor Peter Davidson, vice chair. All in favor? Do I get to vote on me? Oh, I can't vote. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> you can you can pretend. <laughs> Peter should be here. Read the tries or okay. And then we gotta approve the minutes. Yeah. Okay. We get through the minutes from the last meeting. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the January 11th, 2023 meeting as is. Second. All in favor? Yep. That's a go. That's a go. I didn't get who was in favor. Everyone. Was Everyone. Uh, Mr. Davis, because you weren't here, right? That's fine. That's fine. You was at the last meeting? Yeah. You, well, you got there after yeah. it was already oh, adjourned. Okay. It was a 10-minute meeting. I think it was, yeah. the, it, was like, it was actually an yeah. interesting discussion on the main municipal um, time manager list okay. or whatever. Yeah. And you can, you can vote on minutes even if you weren't at the meeting. Well, because, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it was people, uh, usually insane. people abstain, but you don't have to. It was oh, actually, okay. they said, because it's more of a kind of a ministerial act. So you don't necessarily have to be present. Right. To do those. Doesn't mean you have to. But... Okay, we're ready to move on. Okay, we're going to uh, the certificate of appropriateness application map U06 slot 039 at 21 Main Street as requested to add a vaults front and to replace the siding on the building. Okay. I would like to read where that. Uh, that false front, I, you know, I would like to refer to it as a straight skyline look, not a false front, because I'm not changing, I'm just really not changing the front, and I'm just adding a skyline and straight, which sounds a lot better to me, and a false front, I don't you'll, like you have to talk to the, the boss about you know, <laughs> Okay, the false front. Front. sorry. For that type of front. That's what they thought after the correct term. Well, I don't know what they do. It depends on who's building. I happen to be a don't refer to <laughs> No, no, I refer to that to that as a straight skyline look. All front. Pictures. What's the right thing? Call it. 
False front is the only thing I've ever heard. I think it's called a false front. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's, I'm not changing the front. <laughs> as long as we know what you're doing. Trim on the top. I'm only making the wall look straight on top. So I'm really not changing the front. It's not really false. We well, the, straight line look. triangles are false. So that's what that's what classifies as false front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just. Uh, it would be okay. It would be okay. Yeah, be okay. And my wife didn't like it. And I looked at it. I didn't like it. I'm like false front. That makes it make us sound a little funny. I was gonna say <laughs> Western town looking. That's like. Well, that's what Kathy yeah. had referred to it as. I don't think that's the official term. Be referred to it as a Western. Mm -hmm. The old Western look, mm -hmm. but I refer to it as being a tap, and it was a great sky. Unfortunately, line. disease has got a lot of. Mm -hmm. I can't get my hat. John's got his on. Do you want to? Oh, that's true. You guys do have that. I just got, like I say, I, I'm driving home, and I'm. Well, we should get hats for the next meeting. Holy crap! It's ten minutes of six. <laughs> I had all these. Oh, did you have those those at the house? No. That's oh. Good. So, would it be said applicant like to present something? Well, I I gave you the, the pamphlet of what uh, what I had in mind. Um, really, the look here, the moderation building down on the Thompson, is pretty close to what I had my vision was for the building. You know, the the, uh, the front of it. Right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to be I'm going to be adding this trim right on top of the loop. It's going to be an easy transition because there's no overhang on any of this. So I'm just going to take the trim off and make that wall straight mm -hmm. all the way up. So it's just going to be a straight line. And it's such a short pitch. This wall is going to be less than four feet high. So it's going to be uh, it's just going to make. And then I'm going to use uh, this kind of. Uh, Cedar shaped vinyl side and shingles. It's going to be on the front of the whole building. On above the, the bottom, the bottom section. I'm going to use cement siding on the bottom because vinyl is so prone to breaking in the cold weather. So um, when I was in here before to speak with uh, Kate. Kate, yeah, she's the one that recommended a lot of the buildings. The old buildings like the uh, cement siding in the bottom. So that's that's where where I came. I'm gonna just go with what her recommendation was, which was cement siding on the bottom. So all the all the trim that's on the house and the building now, all the siding that's on the the T111, they have the exact same thing in cement. So I'm just gonna replace that all with cement, and it's gonna be. Yeah. So when you talk about, when you talk about the bottom same. section, is that the section is blue now? Blue, yes. So Which is all that T111 that goes around it? Yeah, so you're going to replace it with a fiber cement version of T111? Yes. Okay. And on, on the side between the street. Yeah. And if, I'll probably do the same thing in the front entrance because um, people are going to be walking by there. So I don't want anybody touching that side in the wintertime because it does break. We just rub against it, it'll break. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it'll be uh, cement siding in the front as well of the building, up that same eight feet where the blue section is in the building right now. That's all T111 as well. Yeah. So, so, so what, what about the upper section? What do you? Do I'm gonna. Uh, that's T111 too. And I'm gonna just. I'm gonna go right over all the old wood that's there. Mm -hmm. And I'll put vinyl siding. And it's gonna be this. Uh, I put the included. Um, Ms. Erdman here helped me with this, this these cedar shaped sh shingles, vinyl, that look like cedar shapes. That's what I'm, that's what mm. we're using in the front. And your intention for this is? Is it going to be a real estate office? So you're going to have an upstairs and a downstairs? Yep, it's going to be, yes. All one business? Or? Yes, it's right now it's residential in there on the second floor. They're still there. They've been there for 15 years, those two fellas. <laughs> but uh, it'll be, uh, it's going to be all business later on. The whole thing will be business. One, <clears throat> excuse me, one business running both 
Well, no, see, uh, yeah, it'll be one business running the building, but no, we might rent out to uh, like a title company. We have a title company. Basically offices then. It'll be an office upstairs for yeah. a title company that does a lot of work with Kathy already right now. Yeah. And parking is not an issue because you have the back. No, we have plenty of parking yeah. in the back. So mm -hmm. as an event, it'll be yeah. all commercial. I grew, up, the I grew up with that. My mother was the <clears throat> original owner of 29 Elm Street, which was turned into Smart's Nursing Home. And really? I used to get all the groceries from Roy Nielsen. Yeah, and no, I, was, I know. That's, that's why I included that. Yeah. That this this guy right here. You mean the Harold Willis? He was a good friend of mine until he passed, but right in front of the cemetery. I want to try to bring him back to look the same. Yeah. I know it's kind of a no-no to try to bring an old building back to historic the way it was before, but I want to keep it look the same. And that's why I included that picture. I'm gonna to try to just keep it the same. So when people look at it, they'll still still think it'll be still that front, same, same front that has it right there. I'm going to keep those big windows and the doors. And I'm going to try to make it look exactly just like this. Look a little better than it does now. Is this, yeah. the, same look a lot better. Is this, is this the same building? It is. It is? Yeah. That's the front of the building back in the so there was a back in the 50s. fire or something where they replaced the roof. There was a fire yeah. structure. Yeah. And that's why it's non-compatible. And it's a silver building. Yeah, because one of the things that yeah, I'm sorry. Because, because of the yeah, because of the fire they changed the steep roof pitch to yeah. a flat roof pitch. That was when it was okay. Murray's market, I think. That happened. Because Roy Nielsen sold it and became Murray's market mm -hmm. there for a while. <laughs> Which is seem to be the fire department is the one that filled that all full of water and did all the damage. <laughs> they filled that whole foundation full of water up when they had that fire, and so, that's what did the. So uh, I have a question about this. This has two doors, two yes. entrance doors, and right now there's only one entrance door. I'm so gonna. I gotta have. I'm gonna have handicap accessible. Yeah. So whatever framing I need to do. To I mean, is it, it wide enough for two doors? Because it looks like it's I only could. wide enough for one. I could. Yeah. When I when I. Uh, yeah, no, it was framed down to one. No, I know. I'm going to have, it's going to be handicap, handicap accessible. So that'll probably be a double door, but they do have a 42 inch one, I know, uh -huh. that would work. All right. So I don't, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure. I might try to get two doors in there. You know, so can we close? Can we have a... I'd like to discuss some things. Okay. I just want I would to too. just wanted to ask you, you're going to be the owner. Yes, I am the owner. And you're using that property as a rental. My wife has is Kathy Galant Realty. Okay. She's my wife. Yeah. So she's going to be that business is not what she says. But... Well, she said, <laughs> I don't know. She might. It probably <laughs> does behind my back. She might not say that. You know, I'm just kidding. You're probably do you, have, do you have any idea what type of uh, people would be renting it? Yeah, the title company. I we'll have a title that. company. Mm -hmm. And she was maybe an attorney. Possibly an attorney. And then the rest will be real estate agents. Well, then we just didn't want to wake up next door to an aquarium or something. No, it'll be something associated with real estate somehow. An office. Or the it'll be an office. Uh, maybe down the road, if I can get that building shored up enough, I might go up another floor down the road. But I have a lot of work to do first. I have to make sure I have to make it sound before I can think about going up. But later on, I think maybe in five years, I might go one more floor. That'll be interesting. I mean, of course, we lived in the upstairs apartment for five, 10 years, five years. At that place? Yeah. That, no, 22. We own next door. Oh, yeah. So I'm looking at it when I go through the living room. That's a mirror. That building is almost like a mirror of that same one. They had the same front entrance. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a, I know I was looking at that and I I'm gonna just you know they have it painted black and Kathy probably want it, it probably look the same mm -hmm. as the as the building next door. It'll probably be similar, very similar to that one. Because that does have the same features. Mm -hmm. There's a few buildings on there that have that same feature. It the door. It's recessed. The one across the street has the same thing. That and ours did too. Yeah, originally. 
Yeah, yeah. There's, there yeah. was three or four of them yeah. there right there yeah. that yeah. do the same. Very common when I was a kid. Uh, before yeah. uh, Staples um, changed changed it uh, years ago and put the door on the on the oh, so corner, yeah. Yeah. it was exactly the same. You know, the so. front windows with the recessed. Yeah, and uh, we discovered everything when the truck came through the building. Uh, uh, years ago. Oops. Yeah. So, yeah. This uh, and they, you know, we rebuilt everything the way it had since been yeah. made, but all you know, all the foundation, everything is still there. Any other questions on this? Nope. I mean, we. I'd like to close the thing so we can talk amongst the board. Any. I, I guess I, I would like to say a couple things. Um, when you look at these examples, like moderation brewing, there's articulation at the top. It's not just a, a wall. So there's architectural elements here that I think are important to those kind of flat facades. And so I don't know if you're proposing that or not, because I can't tell from your statement. Well, I wasn't going to do that. I know that one has that. because it's, The reason it has that is because it matches the building next to it. Yeah, the seen all the reason they yeah. put that trim. Yeah, it was to mirror the building right beside it. And if you look at it, that they added that trim so that it looked like the building beside it. Right. That that I guess that my same line goes right across there. My my notes are very similar to that. Um, I think that a false front is very traditional in downtown in the period mm -hmm. that this is significant. It's thing then this low pitch that was aided in the what this. 70s, 80s, is this a uh, false front would be much more traditional than that. Mm -hmm. But my note here is false fronts like those shown me, most of these submitted have a facade. Mm -hmm. It has some kind of corners at the top that is right. definite. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna put some I'm gonna I was gonna just put a free board up there. So I thought about possibly tonight. This is where um I'm I'm fine with you speaking, but it's not really about I really need to just talk the next ourselves for a second. Mm -hmm. okay. And then if we want to open it back up, we will open it later. So I just think that for this to be appropriate, it needs a facade up top. The other thing I think is is some of the siding is what makes this building not significant this thing. And traditionally, all these would have 100 percent clapboard. I don't think a cedar shape whether it be vinyl or not, is appropriate for a building like this. And then of course that maybe there is a cement board option that could work, but it should look like um, yeah. um, cedar. Or, yeah, I agree. Um, sorry, I down the whole thing. I mean, I think I think motivation booming is good. The other thing I've heard here is that we just don't really know what the windows are gonna look like, what the front, is it going to be a 42 inch store? It's not going to be a 42 inch store. There's just a few, yeah, too up and down for me to say yes or no Same. to this right now. And what I suggest is we tell the applicant to go back and just redesign and get us a little more details. That the, the idea of the false front is fine, and I think it's going to be a huge improvement to downtown, but it needs some kind of a something could be simple. I mean, moderation brewing is a really simple facade, the one that. Uh, Frank's building is a little fancier, um, but some kind of a side mm -hmm. in the top. Um, I would like to see a wood, yeah. um, non or clapboard siding across the whole thing, um, and just a better idea of where the windows are going to go. There's no windows upstairs, how the front's going to look, right. and then um, yeah, more details, more finish. details finished, and kind of a better sketch mm -hmm. of what that's going to look yeah. like. I completely agree because I was thinking the same thing. I think what we need is a, like an actual a scale drawing because what you have here is kind of a diagram. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it would, because it's such a prominent location on Main Street, I think we'd need to see more um, scale drawing with more detail about what you're proposing. Um, because like John said, the um, we don't know about the door, the windows. Are you keeping the mm -hmm. shutters? Um, are you keeping the awning? Are you keeping the signage? You know, all of these things I don't know. I was thinking about putting sign up on top. Right on top. Well, that those are the kind of details I think are important to draw. I think we need a drawing showing. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, on the vault front from the, yes. the high 
or saying down. <laughs> yeah, that would be great to see if you had a. I was going to just, yeah, I mentioned it to Kathy and, you know, but it's going to be, it's going to look pretty much the same. I'm going to probably have two big windows up on top, maybe three. I don't know. That's those are the things. I mean, I'm with you. I think your ideas are great. But I really love It'll be three windows because it's a big thing that you have right there. I mean, that is flat board wooden siding in it. That's if you can make it look like that. No, they're all vinyl over there. All of that. I know they are now vinyl, but that picture you have right there is predates vinyl. Yeah, I I think about as far as siding goes, I would agree that a clapboard is probably more appropriate than a shingle. And you can get mm -hmm. uh fiber cement clapboards if you're looking for durability. These uh these cedar shakes. I put I put these on many places. Mm -hmm. It's just no. And I've had people come in. I've had people come in to wash this, wash them, and they say we don't want to hurt that because they think it's wood. Right. They look so real. You would never even know that that's. Fun. I I agree that it's not the vinyl thing. That I, it's the it's the look. It's the it's you wouldn't look. traditionally you wouldn't see cedar shakes on a on a false front building mm -hmm. in a historical mm -hmm. thing. You would see clapboards. Mm -hmm. How about uh, the Great Impasse. The Great Impasse is a 1980. That has edition. all cedar shake. Right? But that's a 1980s, 19 mm -hmm. edition, not a historical. Yeah, I think I think a clapboard would be a lot more appropriate mm -hmm. than a T111 you know, fiber sign option. You know, if you want to put that in the sides, I can make. I mean, I'd like to see the whole particular section done, but I could make a compromise and or accept that on the side. Especially on the alley where you can tighten there. Um, except what? For the T111 is my board if that's just just he wants the front to look more right. traditional. You know, this is I mean that's a good example to go by. It's all clapboard down, your windows and your bottom section would be different. But that is a very low pitched two-story right. with a false front. Yeah, I think the the reason I um Say that it should be a scale drawing is because I think it's important to know what the windows are, size of windows, proportion of windows, mm -hmm. lights in the windows, you know, mountains, um, uh, shutters or no shutters. Kathy and, wants a light on all it at all times there, make it look like somebody's there. Okay, on the well, second floor, and like we don't need to it's see the actual sign. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. gonna always be lit. But I think if you identify an area on the elevation where the sign is going to go, then we have an idea of what it's going to look like. We don't need the actual sign, but mm -hmm. I think, you know, those kind of things, windows, shutters, signs, awning, all of these things are important to to, to see um, drawn out. Mm -hmm. so. I could have very easily drawn windows on that. I just left the, the trim wood there so that you could see where the old building was. Right. But it would have been very easy for me to put windows and doors on that piece of that drawing. Right, but this is not a. I don't think this is adequate because the proportions are completely wrong. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's normally when somebody brings a proposal, the drawing is indicative of what we're going to actually see when we drive by. Mm -hmm. I mean, this drawing could be any. I can understand what they're saying. It's hard to approve what you don't see. That's as me. it is right now that could be any building anywhere anyhow mm -hmm. what, what they're what they're trying to say and, and i think i get yeah, what they're trying to say is they want to know how is if you say you're going to restore it to this but these doors don't exist anymore and that doorway doesn't exist what's it going to look like now what's it going to look like i mean right that's a, but that, just how it does i know but that's square that's all that is to people. What we get up usually getting from from people when they bring in their applications is this is the door I'm going to put here. This is what it looks like that I'm going to put here. Because again, one of the things you know this group is concerned with is making it look just like this. But what we don't have is that in the drawing. We don't have that in the drawing. We don't have the details of the drawing of what it's going to look like. You're going to put the false front at the top, and you said you're going to put a sign on. What is that going to look like? That's what I think. The, if I'm, if I'm right. correct in hearing exactly. what you guys yeah. are saying, that's what you want to see more of. They love opinion. the idea. If I'm not incorrect about that, they like the idea. But they just can't visualize approving. We're basically approving a square. That's what that is right now. Uh -huh. And versus more detail into this is a this is going to be one door. It's going to be a 42 inch door, or it could be two small doors. We don't know which door which way it's going to go. You couldn't go to 
the planning board and code enforcement and get a door approved without that level of detail anyway. You know what I mean? And so they're, what they're trying to say is that's what they want to see. They want to know if there's going to be a canopy or not a canopy or where's the sign going to be? How many windows are going to be? Allowed there? I, again, that's, I, that's what they're asking is what's the drawing? Is it allowed? No, I I'm not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even propose something because right. I knew it was allowed. There right. is a canopy there. There is. Right. Yeah, and that does come out too. That canopy yeah. does come out. Classified as grandfathered or not, but... <laughs> But I think that's what you guys are trying to say. Yes, is yeah. you want more? And then this this is just out of scale. It's fat whether they talk. You know, right. That's right. The proportions are. It's wrong. really tough to tell that because right. you know I think it's it's a little wider building than this, but not much. Mm -hmm. And by the time you add that thing, it's going to look taller than wide. Mm -hmm. And this looks wider than tall. Right. And then say I'm gonna I'll put a 36 or two double door. Like we really need to know is it going to be double doors? Or is it going to be a single door? A single door in the windows and what kind of windows? And again, if there's going to be mullions to match one of the historical photo you found. I mean, the fact you have a historical photo is great because it is a historical building. Mm -hmm. You don't want to but in that make historical, new. But even in that historical photo, there's only one window. There right. are two you don't, you don't he wants want, three. I mean, we need to see what that looks right. like. Is well, what you, you're saying. The, the point is you don't want to make something new look so good that you think it's old. But you can bring something that's old back to mm -hmm. what it was. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You know, it was old. You can bring it back if you have historical proof that mm -hmm. it looks like that in the time of the significance of this period. Which would be late 1800s, early 1900s. Mm -hmm. After the drawing board. I mean, I think he's good. I like the idea. I really yeah. do. I think it's kind of really good details. But we just before, we can't just say yes, you're approved to do this, and then and I know as a builder, it's sometimes tough to where am I going to put the windows and how things are going to work, and you make it up kind of as you go. That's right. I can't give a approval from the town to have you go. Well, if I can if make that decision and draw that. And Right, I don't think it's less than an hour. Yeah, so I can have that. I can have that done in less than an hour. Yeah, get that back, and we'll get ready. Right on top of it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think there's there's a lot of details. I I mean, I you probably don't know. I'm an architect, so I, I draw buildings for a living. So there's a lot of details that I think need to be worked out. Not you know, it's one of them in, in particular is how, how do you deal with the how do you deal with the eave over here, the overhang of the eave? Because if you notice your examples here, moderation brewing. The the sides yeah, run straight, straight up. up. I know that's why but here I it, like it jogs out. So is that going to look appropriate? I don't know. I mean, it's a detail that we'd have to see. Yeah, I thought about it. maybe, but I don't want to get bogged down in all this. I thought about possibly running that trim line all the way across the front, like they have it over there at uh, moderation. But I believe that I can trim it without doing all that work because I'm going to. Yeah, I could run that trim board around. I could run that around. I could run it all the way around, and that would look more like moderation. But it's 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 not. I'm not matching anything. I mean, I think I can make it look. I've drawn it there, and I can trim that out to make it look appropriate the way it is with that overhang, because it's not a lot of weight on top of it anyway, so it's not going to hurt it. There's there's no. You know, it's not going to cause any structural damage by adding anything on top of that overhang. I could, uh, I can trim that and make that look appropriate the way it is without running that false line all the way across the front. Even though that is about how much room I would need for that sign to go above, it's it's an option. But I wasn't going to do it. <clears throat> I thought about it. No, I don't think you should. If you're talking about taking that eave line and running it horizontally across the front, right. I don't think that would look appropriate, to be that honest with you. Exactly like that. That's what the moderation does. No, well, it's not because it's up higher. Mm. It's so I don't think it's I don't think the mm, yeah. I don't think it's at the right place because you see moderation's eve is right down here and their cornice is up higher, mm. so it's not it's not a continuation of the eve. It's further up on the top, so I don't think it would be appropriate to do it that way. But. The point is, I think we need to see a better drawing. I was just going to trim it. I'm going to put a two by six on there. 
so that it's wide enough. And then I'm going to put corner board on it. And I'm going to put a freeze board on top with a small cap, just like the moderation building, same thing. I'm going to cap it, and I'm going to wrap it with metal. I've got right. a tin break, and I'm going to wrap all that with metal so I don't have to paint and go back up there ever again. Right. And I'm just going to have a freeze board, corner boards, simple. I was, I thought about possibly putting crown molding up there, but I think it's a waste of money. I think it's a waste of money for me to go crown molding all the way around the top of that. I thought about it. I, I was going to do it, but I, the more I thought about it, I should just be simple. Freeze board, small cap, all wrapped in metal. Something that doesn't have to be painted. Because I don't want to have to go back up there and paint. That's why I don't want to use wood. I don't want to paint. I'm tired of painting. I've painted a lot. <laughs> and I have all the tools to do it. But that's why I don't want to use wood. Because there's too much maintenance involved. That's what's on there now. All that wood that's on that building is all rotten. And that's exactly what happens to wood buildings. They rot. I don't care how many times you paint them. They rot. Now, you like the, the wood, but that's maintenance. That's maintenance. None of those buildings have, that's why nobody uses wood. Because then they got to go back up there and maintain it. Every two or three years, they got to go back up there and paint it. I don't want to be up there next to that I'm pile. I'm just saying what the, the. But I'm just, I'm just say. explaining what, how I Which feel about you saying that I should be using wood. I don't really, I don't agree with what. Feeling your opinions are we have ordinances and it's written in a that maintenance should be like yes and old buildings are maintenance but I don't it's yeah that's that why they're all going away from that they um, don't want to maintain can we I mean I think I want to just make a motion to table this um until a future meeting when we can have um more details submitted to us. You're not talking about he has to put wood. You're talking about you just want like you would want the vinyl signing to be planking. No, he said wood. Well, I mean, I would prefer wood. wood because I think well, that's the right kind. But right. I would, and I said I would make the compromise for a cement board or something like that. But I think plywood, I think cedar shingles is an inappropriate use. I mean, cedar shingles are like go in different things. I think on a false front, I agree. It should be plywood. Yeah, you know. And if it's if you come back to us and make your very solid argument that you want it to be, I don't want to paint. You don't want to paint. You. That's want why to, I'm doing it. When I'm when I make that argument, I finish that building. Thing. I'm not painting. Make that argument, and I think we can get that by with more details. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm using these things like cement board because it doesn't have to be. It doesn't rot. Yeah, yeah. It I lasts hear you. forever. I hear you wrong. I hear it doesn't you. have to be painted. Mm -hmm. It doesn't rot. Here's the that. big. That's the biggest thing. If you look at all those buildings over there on Main Street down there in the lowest district, they all look rotten. You know why? Because they're all, they're not keeping up with the maintenance. All that wood is rotten and it shows. That's why, that's that's probably half the reason this building here has been brought off the non-contributing factors because it's all rotten and it can't be maintained. You can't even paint that wood. That's why I'm going over it because it can't be, it, you can't paint it. It's all it's too rotten already. That's why I'm going over with something that doesn't rot. And I feel very strongly about that. Very strongly about that. Do we just need a second period? I second it. Oh, you did. I will. Yeah. Okay. You got a second? I, I have a vote. I just have a quick question. The rest of this building, mm -hmm. you're going to address all of that too, right? Yes, I'm going all the way around. I'm going all the way around and I'm, you know, you, you can see the different variations they have right now. I don't know if I gave you all of it, like showed you all the five different. Lines. There's more than five different yeah. kinds on there. Yeah. And, you know, it's all, all that T111 is rotten. The deck on the back. Every single gone. piece of that T111 that's on that building, rotten. Been there for years, man. It's got to be either gone over or changed. And I don't want to change it because once I take that off, that takes all the insulation out of it. I, I want to go over it. The deck on the back is going to be... That's going to have to be... I'm going to keep it for right now, but that's going to all be changed too, eventually. Just one note for historians. The next building on the other side of the alley, that used to be Thompson's Post Office. It used to be a barbershop. Didn't anybody go in the barbershop that used yep. to be right there? I get my haircut there every. My mother said, yeah. 
get down there once a month and get a haircut. I had uh, my surveyor told me, he says, you know, there used to be a barbershop right there between those yeah. two buildings. A little itty bitty building. Okay, so now we would like to make a motion. He did. He made a motion. We just need to. He, and he needed to okay. vote. So now it's a vote on whether or not to, to, to postpone. postpone until we get a, a more. Can we add to the motion that maybe we could have. Julie. 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 Sorry. Give a sample of one that's been successful before the board, a, a proposal that we, you know, the level of detail that we're looking for. Great idea. Because to be honest with you, you know, when you come before here and you don't just, uh, just here's what, here's what's been successful being proposed before in the sense of not the product. I totally but, agree with that, but, but I don't know if we need to add that. Do we need Julie? I, I don't think we need to add that. Okay. I'll just so put we it could, in the minutes. You can okay. add the minutes that we gave you. I just think, you know, it, it, it always helpful. You know? Yeah. It's like when I use YouTube to fix my dryer. You want me to read the motion? Please. Motion to table to a future meeting when we have more details submitted as discussed. Made and seconded. Now you can vote. All in favor? Against? There are only five of us. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, I'll abstain just so you have something well, else. You can turn around and, and be a okay. dual personality. I don't think so. I'm tired. Okay. Well, let's do it together. If you can go to the meeting. Any other input? I would. I, I haven't been on the board very long, but one application that I think was a good example of drawings was um were you the one the main street uh the elm street garage edition yes um who's the notes yes garage. i was a sick for that one but that was a good package that was a good package of drawings yeah. oh look at that yeah. i was just trying to save myself some money yeah I could, well he did all i know you're an architect so you want me well, to get no, it but, well, well, but if if it's it's be yeah, drawn. Drawn. They do not need to be professionally drawn. No, no, no. Do, it just needs to be a little more to scale. I mean, use a ruler and get rough. I mean, you can do scale. You're building. You want me to draw all the siding on there too? No, no. I want you to draw the rough like for example building. Cut it out. Yeah. Show us what you're going to do for the eve. Show us what yeah. you are going to do for this. Roughly well, where the signs are, what the windows are. If you are going to put replacement windows in there. Bring us a picture of the replacement window, just like mm -hmm. you brought a picture of the signing. Right. What you're going to use. If you're going to put a door in there, go to wherever you buy your doors and pick the door out and grab the mm -hmm. brochure and bring that in and put it in. So if I go door. buy a door and then I bring it in here and you say, wait, hey, I don't like don't, that. Don't buy it. I mean, go. I don't no. like that door. Go no, to no, 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 the no, 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 no. and get a brochure that has a picture of the door. But you didn't do that. that. No. And draw it. What he's talking about is the same thing you did with the siding, the same thing you were doing with the, you know, the roof. Uh -huh. Shingles, God, the words are not coming out. You brought what you intend to do. Uh -huh. You didn't buy it. You just brought what you intended to do so that we could see it. So, like when you're looking at the front of Mishu's market here, you're telling me there's going to be three windows or two windows. Are they going to be windows with panes? Are they going to be solid windows like they are now? Right now, there's no detail as to what this is going to look like when it's done. Mm -hmm. that's what they're saying is they want to see what it's going to look like when it's done you don't have to draw perfect windows they have to be to scale obviously but you can say i'm going to get this window here's the brochure it's going to go here here and that to that to that here you're going to say that you're going to get a door one door it's going to be yeah. no i can do all that i didn't i can do all that that was so far down the road that i got you know a year's worth of work before i get to that so, you know, yes, I can go and get all that. I can get all the materials that I need, but I've got to go and I've got to gut that place. I've got to, I've got so much work to do before I get to that point. That's why I didn't do that. And yes, it, I can go pick the windows and doors and the sinks and all the inside. The the we only care about the outside and what the front. We can't. But I, you want all the windows drawn on the building, right? Yes, just or just what's the visible. front. Yes, what's front. visible to the public way. And mainly that the front of this building. We yeah, only the front. Then yeah, no windows on the side anyway. Yeah. There isn't now, but there might be. When that time comes, you probably should come to us and say we're going to put a window there. But you can come at a later fact when you get there and do that. 
See, I, I, I'll tell you what I've got to do is I've got to go over there and it's going to take me at least six months to do what I need inside before I can do anything. Before I can do anything, because I got to straighten now. all that wall. I got to straighten that whole building out. First. Okay, but so why why do you need this approval now then? Because I'm gonna once I go, I got to change the side. When I straighten that out, I got to I got to change it. When I straighten it, I'm gonna stiffen it, and then I want to finish it. I don't want to have to go back and do all this over and over and over and over again. I want to do it once. Right. But it's going to take me a long time to straighten that building out inside first. Right. So, you know, I, I, I understand what you're saying. You don't want to spend 18 million hours. Of no, of if you guys want me to get the whole thing and go and do pick out the windows and, you know, pick out the paint that I might paint. It, we only care about the outside. You want me to draw the side, all my and signs. And we don't need over color. What's that? We don't have any purview over color. You can paint a polka dot is what you know. So, so you know, color. colors don't matter. We don't have any mm -hmm. purview over color. We're going to have her give you a copy of one of the ones that... So you just need to go to the front of the building. Yes. So you, yes. For the most part, yeah. But we want to know what it's going to look like. When you drive by it, what's it going to look like? What it looks like now is a square. Mm -hmm. I Anybody... Uh, People would ask us, why did you approve just a square when the next group? Because we it's not just you we have to worry about. It's the next group of people who come by and say, well, you know, I understand. No, you know, I, I understand. I mean, I'll I get, get all those extra details there for you. Sure. I'll get them mm -hmm. together. That means I have to sit down with my wife and pick out windows. And, you know, and for that, we are uh, so far down the line for that. We are eternally that, I mean, here from putting them windows. In. And maybe you want to wait a few months then and yeah. you get in there and start working on the inside. Maybe your plans will change. change. No, they're not going to change when I okay. as far as window placement. When I straighten that window, I need to put the windows in the front once I straighten that building out because there's not much hole in it. Right. I need it needs to be structurally sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was coming here first. So if I'm over there and I, now I've got the building straight and, you know, I can't believe those buildings, aren't, the windows aren't broken from the way that the shift of that building, I can't believe they're not busted. But I will uh, get all those details for you. And she'll give you a copy of one that gives you an idea of what we're kind of looking for. I know, I, I know what you want. I, I'll draw that. I'll, I'll draw the front. I'll draw in the windows. They're going to be Anderson windows. I do know that. Before I even thought about windows, they'll be Anderson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just I think just a, a cut sheet of the window yeah. style that you're picking and then yeah. show the size and proportion on the drawing mm -hmm. so that we can understand just how big they are, where they're located, how many there are. And um, I don't have to draw the siding in. Yeah. Just, uh, I mean, I'm comfortable with. We want to know what below you're... here is this, above here is what this is going to look like, right? I mean, that's what you're basically. That's what's there now. What's there now right. is T111 on the bottom. No, but whatever the... you're going to put over it. T111. Okay. Well, I don't. I really think. It's I don't think that's. A, I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think T111 would be acceptable. I think. <laughs> I, I can't replace what's there. I guess I'd have to check with that, but I mean, that should be grandfathered, is it? No, there's not my grandfathered. Back there. I just want to put whatever's there back. Tell me you don't except for I don't want to paint. So, right, which T111 is wooden, is going to rot, and you're going to need to paint it. They have a cement product, right, which is I, not what's I there now. Included it, which is not what's there now. Siding. So, you're changing it. It looks the same. It's it exactly the same the feature. Different material. That's why we fight over people with wood windows. It looks exactly like T one hundred and eleven. I don't. I tell you that I would think it would be much more appropriate to have flat wood siding down the whole front of the building. I agree with that. I think T one hundred and eleven. No uh, vinyl. No, not the ones that look like. The the ones that you're showing in your application are shingle style vinyl, right? Cedar shakes, yes. Yes, cedar shake vinyls. What John and I are both saying is that we both think that a clapboard 
siding would be more appropriate than a shingle siding. So while sure, we'd love to see wood there, we understand your concern about maintenance and not wanting to paint it. So you can get fiber cement clapboards that look like wood. What's the difference with doing the fiber cement clapboards and fiber cement 2 and 11? The clapboards look more historic. They look more appropriate. You're changing the front of this. It's a historical district. If you're, and that's what. That's not changing it, but that is changing it. Because that's what, but that's right what now. you're trying to get back to. That's what it looks like, clapboards. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Not what it is now. They want it to look more historic. That's, you brought us this picture. You want it back to clap. I mean, that's back to clapboards. I and mean, he's giving you an alternative to give you the product you want, but not, and, and put it as a clapboard. That's all he's saying. Mm -hmm. You could have it. Cement's okay, but vinyl isn't. I guess I would say yes to that. I don't know what everyone else thinks. Yeah, I mean, that's negotiable, but yes. I mean, really, I would have to pull up the exact ordinance and read to you, but it's supposed to be mm -hmm. like replaced with like kind. And mm -hmm. like kind on this is going back to that picture you showed that's in yellow that has wooden clapboards. And any time that can possibly be replaced like that, we're supposed to picture that. Right. We do make exceptions for people over maintenance issues and longevity because the quick look, it's going to look the same if it's cement board. We do make exceptions and say cement board is okay. There are some fewer in Portland and in front of their historical committee. No way. Mm -hmm. They have the they follow the same part. You know, if you're going for historical tax credits from the National I can't get any credits because it's going to take it off the historic right. section, really non-contributing. Right. So I can't. I well, can't you can go there. If you're going to take it back to what it was contributing, you could get it back into contributing. Why it's not? When, I, when I'm done, it'll be contributing. But right, right now, it's non-contributing. Then make sure you use blackboards in the front and keep it because one of the reasons it's non-contributing is the the multiple sightings on it. The 2010 report, if you look at that about your building. It mentioned one of the things that A, the roof launch, which you're kind of straightening out by making it false mm -hmm. front, and B, the multiple different kinds of siding that would not have been, it would have been all the top. But there are, there are people um, and, and companies that do historical tax credits that could go and make the argument to the park service that you are bringing this back to. I call it that's going to be expensive. I call them, they wouldn't deal with me. They says, no, you're not contributing building. Well, that's why you have to get somebody to make the argument that it, once you bring it back, it's contributing. I mean, it would have been a contributing. I don't know if it'll help me if it's contributing, will it? What's it going to do for me? Cost me more money? It's going to cost you more money because they're going to well, that's, that's not that's something I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you get, you get some cost you me enough as it is. Well, you get up to tax credits. credits. I know those tax credits that kills me. You know, yeah, you get tax credits for buying, you know, you know, you go a panel. You spend your next million dollars, dollars. You get your forty percent of it back. Which does make sense in some really big projects. I doubt it would make sense in your property. Mm -hmm. I I try to contact all those, as a matter of fact, because uh Brunswick Housing Authority, he told me, John. Gave me all the information for those. He says, "Yeah, because there's there's options." But I and I called them. None of them. They they said no. Nope. They said no to me. I mean, all of them. And I did call three more times because I was, you know, I was hoping that they would give me a grant to fix the structure, and they do that in some cases. That's what I was looking for. But I said I'd like to get a, you know, a grant to mm -hmm. fix the bones of this building. Yeah. Yeah. And they do that in some cases, but they wouldn't do anything for me. They said, no, sorry. So I, I don't know. And if it's like going to cost me more money, I'm not going to look them up <laughs> just, to, just to spend more money. That doesn't make too much sense to me. <laughs> but, you know, I was trying to do the right thing. That's why I went in to see Kate. And I says, how does the historical and, you know, like you said, they like cement siding. They like cement siding, but I would like you to check into replacing. Because if I got to put cement siding all the way around that building, 
that's going to cost me a fortune because that cement siding is three times what anything else is. It's three times as much. Well, when you say cement siding, the same material, fiber cement, can be made in the T111 style oh, yeah. or clapboards. Yeah, they make it all. And whether there's a cost, I don't know if there's a cost difference, but the point is, on the we're only talking about the front of the building. By the time you deduct the area of the doors and the windows, there isn't a whole lot of siding left. No. So I can't imagine that it would be cost prohibitive. No, I mean, I'm not, the only reason I don't want to put wood is because I don't want to paint. No, understand we understand that. that. That's what we understand that. But like he's saying, you're talking about doing the front with this, the cement board. Right. right. You know, that's what he's talking that's about. That's why, I, that's why I included that. And I showed right. in the cement, in the cement uh, section here, they make every product, all of them. They make the T111, they make the Cedar Shakes, they make the vinyl, they make mm -hmm. everything. So all the same facades they make in cement. And they do the same thing in vinyl. Mm -hmm. They make them all in vinyl too, except for the T111. They don't make that in vinyl, but they make all the other products in vinyl. So what exactly do we need in the new for us? We just need to resubmit an application. Draw the front of the building or the, the window. Yeah. Really sure yep. So we will meet again. And then whether that be next meeting or I'd we like to. I would like to done. get a next meeting if I can. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, need yeah. I need to move forward. I need to move forward. It's been now that the building's been vacant for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. I want to get that done soon. I've already changed the water line over there. I've already fixed frozen pipes. I've done a lot of work over there already. Mm -hmm. I have replaced the water line over there because it was a galvanized 5 8 line ready to break. I went over there and dug it by hand and, and fixed, changed that water line. That's done. So I got up to the street? Or just inside? Inside. Just inside. No, don't, don't say it like that. <laughs> okay. I had to dig it twice. So we need to make a motion. For it. We did. We did it and we voted on it. So, so he just he just needs to go. Yeah. I, you just want me to leave? No, no, we're not. I mean, we're, we're, we're not. We're not. Oh, I no, you have your assignment. You know what to do. But they want to leave. <laughs> no, yeah, all right. No, you. you know, she'll give you. A, she'll give you an example of one to help you. I'll draw the front. I can. I mean, I could have done that. I could have drawn that front. I could have had that done now. Save me that extra month if I'd have known. But I'll be back in a month. We'll be here. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good evening, young man. Thank you. Oh, hey. Huh? You can tell the state. You're a member of the public. You get to be here. Oh, okay. Howdy, we're all adjourned. Are we good? Oh, well, yeah. No, 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 we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. You want to make them? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Why don't you do that? I made a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? I'm abstaining. <gasps> you sure. me. I just want. I just want. I want to be unique on the. What did right, you say? Yeah. You're staining? I'm abstaining. You're staining. I'm staining. staining. I don't know what that. <laughs> I bring the comment. Thank you.